Hi guys, in this docker tutorial, in the last video we learned about the difference between docker versus vm. After understanding the difference, we came to know that docker is really very very easy to understand, implement and scale as well. Whereas vm takes lots of time and need uh, a deep knowledge on that, how to create machines and how to scale them. Okay. So, so far we have learned the basics of docker like why we should use docker why we should learn docker and how it is easy to use okay so now today we are going to cover the installation part so definitely whenever we have learned a, a software or an application now we want to uh, create an environment where we can use that application right so suppose you are going to use your laptop or desktop as a workstation then you have to install docker engine now let's see like how we can do this so those who are having limited uh, you know resource like maybe they are having a laptop with a lower configuration and they are not uh, able to install that uh, docker engine or their system for some reason for them there is a website created by uh, docker where you can do this practice okay so this is the website play with docker so to start using this you first you have to click on start here so once you click on start if you have not logged in you will be redirected to a login page where you need to log in with your docker docker hub account once the login is successful you will have one session created here okay so and this session will be active for four hours after after four hours whatever you have created that will be you know deleted and environment will be ready for another session okay so let's see if i click on add new instance so here my instance is ready to work so let's see like whether it's really working or not so i'm just going to check the docker version installed here docker version so it's saying that command not found so definitely i have done some type of mistake docker version here it is so it is saying the docker version 2010-17 okay api version 1.41 let's go to the another part this is the first part where if you are if your system is not capable to handle that much memory so you can uh, you can go with this and you can do the practice so what's the uh, what's the next one right the next one is install the docker engine on your local desktop okay so let's see so i'm going to close this session because we are not going to use this so i'm going to close this session so it is closed okay so now i believe to install any application we should always follow the document provided by the organization because their documents will have the complete information definitely you will read you will go through blogs uh, where people made those uh, complex statements simple and that would be easy for you to understand but uh, we have to improve ourselves to understand this uh, original documentation okay so i always prefer to go through the documents provided by the organization uh, who has developed this uh, software and uh, complete the installation part okay so before uh, going into the installation part i would like to show you whether my docker is installed or not so this is terminal and one more thing i want to mention here this installation is specific for mac installation but I'm, I mean the process would be same but as of now I'm going to install this docker on Mac system okay so let's let's check whether docker is installed or not so how to check so there is a Linux command you can type where is docker so docker is not installed right if if something is installed if some binary is installed you can find that for example if you want to check where uh, let's say ls is installed so you can see this this ls command is coming from this location right similarly you can check any other 
other uh, you know let's say i want to check find so you can see this binary is un under user bin find but for docker we are not finding anything here okay so it means in my system docker is not installed okay so let's go ahead and follow the documentation we have verified docker engine is not installed on my mac operating system now the next step would be follow the official documentation of docker engine and install the docker desktop on this mac so to download the binaries for this docker desktop you need to click here on docker desktop for mac os once you click on this link your binary will be downloaded as of now i'm not going to download this again because i have already downloaded it so you can see in the download folder we have the docker image so just double click on this link and you need to drag and drop to the application folder so just drag and drop the docker application to the applications folder you can see this message because i have installed it multiple times it is not cleaned up uh, you know completely that's why we are getting this message just you do that replace now docker is copied into the application folder so now we are ready to eat, go for further steps of this installation so go to applications and here you will find the docker icon just click on this and it will launch the docker application so you have to click on open considering that you are trusting the source of this download click on accept if you want to read the license agreement you can go through that and click on accept you are going to complete this installation for docker desktop so basically we should rec uh, we should go with the uh, uh, recommended settings for this or if you are smart enough to go with the advanced settings and you can choose whatever you like right so as of now i'm i'm just checking it use recommended settings that is enough for uh, for a developer purpose so finish it's asking for a password here you can select the role i'm selecting backend developer learning and teaching continue and that's it docker desktop is installed now the next step would be to i to verify whether this uh, this docker engine is able to accessible from the command prompt so i'm going to open a terminal and from this terminal i will try to find out where is docker okay so you can see this time we are getting the docker path user local bin docker and if you if i check this version right it's docker version so the command is docker version so we are good with installation so you can see that docker is installed we can see the information we will discuss in detail like you know what is client what is server here we'll see that but as of now docker is installed on your system okay so that's all about this video i hope it's clear the process of installation of uh, docker desktop on your local system this is specifically for mac operating system if you are interested in uh, you know or you are getting any uh, trouble while installing this on windows operating system please let me know i will uh, record another video for the installation of docker on your uh, on windows operating system okay so thank you very much for watching this video if you really like it please hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you so much